this is the first proper newspaper interview I've given in about eight years. Um, I actually, this is an exclusive for you. This is big news, actually. You ready? I started my rescue centre in 2020, and it was because uh, my mum got really sick. And I'd been saying all my life, my whole life since I was a child, I will have an animal sanctuary one day. And I kept saying, when I retire, or when I've got enough money, or, well, in showbiz, you never retire. And also, you've never got enough money to start a rescue centre. So, um, when my mum got sick, I just realised that life was too short, and I started the rescue centre in the summer of 2020. I don't normally get to bed till two in the morning, and I'm up at seven every day. About three hours of feeding and watering in the morning. Then we have to clean them out. So we spend most of the day cleaning animals out. By the time we've done all that, it's usually time to start the afternoon feeds again. But in between all of that, there's all the other stuff that comes with running an animal sanctuary that people don't think about, which is going and collecting food, going and collecting hay and straw, um, going to the vets. Last week I was in the vet not just every day, but sometimes twice a day. What are you doing? I am the happiest I have ever, ever, ever been. I cannot explain the joy I feel every single day of my life, the satisfaction, the knowing that I'm doing something good. 100%, this is what I should have always been doing. Um, the only sadness in my life, I'm gonna try and say this without getting emotional, is that um, my mum isn't here to see it. Um, and that kills me. But she'd be proud. She'd be really proud. I've always rescued cats and dogs, so she always knew all my cats and dogs. And then she met the goats, because the first animals we got were the goats, and she met some of them. Um, and then she died, so she's never met anything else, the 350 animals I've got here. <laughs> um, do you know what? My mum was the coolest mum in the world because she supported everything I did. She absolutely was proud of me doing all the lads mags and page three for the sun and all of that. She was proud of all of it and she genuinely was. Um, she was proud of the fact that I'm so passionate and that I fight for what I believe in. Um, so the fact that I'm now doing what I was always meant to do I know she'd just be so happy for me, she would. Um, and I just hope she's looking down and can see it all. I am doing OnlyFans to fund my animal rescue centre. Vet bills aside, so not including vet bills, it costs four grand a week to run this place. I do OnlyFans and get my tits out, and sometimes down there as well, right? To pay to fund the animal sanctuary. I have minus 250 pounds in my bank account because every penny I earn from OnlyFans goes straight into Fripp's farm. Straight into Fripp's. I am now back doing glamour tits out, right? Which, by the way, I don't mind. I enjoy it, like, it's fun. <laughs> Done it all my life, it's nothing new, right? But I'm doing that for the animals. Every penny from it goes into Fripps, to the animals, and it comes out as quick as it goes in. It's a lot of work and we need to raise a lot of money. Um, I actually, this is an exclusive for you. This is big news actually. You ready? Oh, this is big. This actually is big. Uh, Katie Price reached out to me recently and she was really nice and she actually reached out because of a troll and she was, Katie was on my side about it. And she went, and she could have been a and gone, mm, well, someone's trolling Jodie. Yeah, I'll jump on board and troll Jodie. No, she reached out to me and spoke to me directly and said, I'm really sorry about your troll. And she also said, I'm sorry for the shit you've been through. And she was referring to my mum, I think. And I've had an idea that I think me and Katie should do a shoot together for only fans. A duo, finally, finally, we become friends and we make up and we do a Jodie Marsh and Katie Price shoot for any fans because that would generate the money I need for this rescue centre.